This episode of Video Gamers Oasis Playful Podcast is brought to you by NordVPN. Get one month free of online protection. Click the link in the description below. To celebrate the 2022 movie, The Batman, Jeremy showcases his Batman Returns card collection in this episode of Video Gamers Oasis Playful Podcast. Stay tuned. Video Gamers Oasis Playful Podcast, a playful variety talk show for gamers, video game history enthusiasts, movie buffs, collectors, and other fans of niche hobbies. Now available for YouTube and Anchor. Stay subscribed and notified for updates. HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash anchor.fm forward slash video gamers oasis. And now, the host of the show, that meek geek of all trades, Jeremy from Video Gamers Oasis. Hello again. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Video Gamers Oasis Playful Podcast. I'm your host, Jeremy. This is the podcast that was inspired originally from my website and YouTube channel, Video Gamers Oasis. And this is a podcast where I sit in my fun little arcade studio here with classic video game arcade games in my bowling alley. And we talk about fun, geeky stuff, mostly for the gamer and the geek community. People who like to collect uh, geeky stuff. And I'm like to, I'm very excited, very excited to tune in again on the show because uh in in the uh spirit of the new the batman starring robert patterson that's coming out i thought it'd be a fun fun idea for me to talk more about my batman card collection and this is a weekly show where i showcase a different type of uh collection of cards uh, sports cards mostly for the geek community and this time because of the the new the Batman movie that's uh, in the theaters now. I want to talk about my Batman Returns cards. Uh, yes, that's right, folks. Last time, uh, not too long ago, I was discussing my uh, Tim Burton's Batman 1989 uh, collector sport cards. They're not really sport cards, but they're they're collector's cards. Now I'm going to talk about my Batman Returns. Tim Burton's Batman Returns, a sequel to the original Michael Keaton movie. And uh, I'm really excited about this very much. Okay, so here we have my, my Batman Returns card binder. Now, as, of, as with all my card collecting episodes, I want to make sure that I'm wearing protective latex gloves or vinyl in this case, not latex. And uh, it's always good to protect your hands from the. I am being very serious about trying to be. <laughs> I'm not trying to be uh, smart alecky or double entendre, but it's so good to protect your valuable card collection, especially if they're old, from the oils and liquids from your skin. So wear some nice vinyl or latex gloves to protect your precious card collection. I'm going to open up the card collection and I'm going to, what I'm going to do is, ah, let's say, uh, let's take a look at our card collection. We have quite a collection of uh, episodic scenes from the original Batman Returns and it featured uh, the uh, featured Danny DeVito as the Penguin and uh, <clears throat> and also had uh, uh, who was a lady who played uh, the Catwoman and I can't seem to get her her name at the moment that's it featured Catwoman the Penguin and it also featured uh, Christopher Walken as a villainous character named Max Shrek, and it's all a great, great cast of characters. And I'm let's we're going to take out the um, 
all the cards now. We're just going to pull out the cards one, one by one. I'm going to have them all out at once. Before we, uh, before we go, I'm going to have them all out, and uh, this could take a little. This take, this could take some time, folks. So while we're uh, taking these cards out of our book and taking an individual look at each one of them, let's have a quick uh, look at our sponsor. It's very, very excited to be part uh, of uh, working with this organization called Nord VPN. Nord VPN. Get one month free of online protection. Click the link in the description below. Online security and privacy made simple. One account, all of your devices. No need to buy VPN subscriptions separately for your phone and PC. NordVPN secures up to six devices and is compatible with Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android, iOS, and even your Wi-Fi router. No risk to your wallet. Convenient payment methods. Three great reasons to choose NordVPN. Fastest on the planet. 5318 Plus Ultra Fast VPN Servers Around the Globe Groundbreaking Nord Links Protocol No Bandwidth Limits Experience Top Speed Online Security with Nord VPN Safe Easy Content Access HD Movies Live Sports Hot TV shows? We got it. It takes just a click or tap to cloak your IP at home or while traveling, letting you view your favorite content in privacy and security. No logs policy. We couldn't provide any details about you to third parties even if they asked. Why? Because we never log what you do online. We've got nothing to reveal. But don't just take our word for it. Popular YouTuber PewDiePie, who has 111 million subscribers, reviewed, browse the internet safely, but most importantly, freely. A VPN is one of those things that are just good to have. I recommend NordVPN. 30 day money back guarantee. Enjoy full access to the award winning VPN completely risk free. If you are not 100% satisfied, tell us within 30 days of buying NordVPN and get a full refund. Nord VPN. Get one month free of online protection. Click the link in the description below. All right, we're back. Welcome back to the show. You're watching Video Gamers Oasis Playful Podcast, and I'm your host, Jeremy, and we're taking a tour. Pardon me. We're taking a tour of my Batman Returns card collection. This is a ongoing series every week called My Card Collection Show and Tell. And I actually have two different types of Batman Returns card collection. I have a regular uh, bubblegum card style, kind of regular card stock you'd have in it for a baseball or a hockey card. And then we have a more glossy, more uh, very beautifully illustrated, photographed scenes from the movie in a glossy format. So we'll look at our regular cardstock cards first and then we'll move on to our glo my glossy uh, collection. And I'm going to read them in, in numeric order. That's why I have the, the back, reading the back first, just so I can uh, put them into the proper order. So the earliest one is on the bottom. And of course I don't have the entire collection 
but I do have enough to showcase. So first one we have is number nine. And we're just going to take a look at this one. Addressing Gotham City. Here we go. I'm going to flip it over. And it reads, Batman Returns. Addressing Gotham City. Before the lighting of the annual Yuletide Tree, the mayor, flanked by city officials, addresses cheerful Gothamites. Among the VIPs present are millionaire Max Shrek and his equally smooth but shifty son, Chip. Commissioner Gordon and representatives of the police department are also in attendance. We have a great scene with all these dignitaries at a Christmas uh, event. That's the first card I have. Next card. We have... Part, uh, we have card number 12. What in the name of... And the radio, the, one of the radio station microphones says uh, WXRX. Flip it over. Number 12. What in the name of... The mayor, Max Shrek... And his son Chip are flabbergasted as a giant Christmas present is wheeled into Gotham Plaza. The mayor assumes it's all part of the of the Shrek Gala performance, but Max is genuinely surprised. Darker, more dangerous surprises await. Next card, we have number 29. Batman returns, and it says here. Shrek's way. <coughs> and we have an illustration of photograph of Selena Kyle before she transformed into Catwoman. She's a very mousy, in this case, very uh, sheepish uh, secretary. Number 29, it says Shrek's way. Max Shrek devises an ingenious plan to transform the penguin into a public hero. The first step it, uh, the first step in an elaborate scheme to control Gotham City. But all is not well in the Shrek, Shrek Industries building. Working late, Secretary Selina Kyle discovers some secret files indicating that he, her boss's new power plant is actually something far more insidious. That's the scene there. Number 29. Next we have is number 36. Number 36. And it is List of Oswald Cobblepot. Flip it over. It says the list of Oswald Cobblepot. After compelling, after compelling, um, compiling, pardon me, after compiling a list of names, the penguin discovers his true parentage and real name. He is Oswald Cobblepot, the abandoned son of wealthy Gothamites. But in the Bat Cave laboratory, Bruce Wayne does a little research of his own. What he uncovers makes him absolutely certain that the penguin is a dangerous and deceptive creature with ties to the Red Triangle Circus Gang. There you have it. He's searching in his light in the archives. Okay. And we have number 40. Feline on the Prowl. Flip it over. Batman returns. Feline on the, on the Prowl. As Max and the Penguin continue their nefarious plans, someone new has been added to the treacherous urban landscape of Gotham City. Catwoman prowls the night, rescuing a poor woman from a mugger. 
then terrorizing her with snappy anti-male rhetoric. Is the slinky Selena friend or foe? And number 43, Batman Returns. Cat challenges Bat. Flip it over. Number 43, gotta fly, the penguin declares. The steel rods of his umbrella spin wildly, shedding off black cloth and transforming into a mini helicopter that lifts him off the ground. Meanwhile, Batman faces Catwoman in a highly charged battle of the sexes on the rooftops high above Gotham City. Cat challenges Bat. All right, moving on to the next one. I just have a few more. Number 50. What do you want? It's Batman and Catwoman facing each other off. What do you want? In his attempt to rescue the kidnapped Ice Princess, Batman once again confronts Catwoman. He headbutts her, but the She-Devil quickly recovers and frees the captured girl with her razor-sharp talons. Catwoman tosses a chair at Bat Batman as she drags the squealing princess through a nearby door. And the final uh, regular style uh, baseball cards I have for the Batman Returns is 87. Destroying his life support. This is way further down in the movie, obviously. Flip it over. Destroying his life support. Slammed into the penguin's air compressor, the bodies of Selina and Shrek become tossed. Pardon me, become lost in a sense, in a dense display of crackling sparks. The lights of Gotham City flash on and off. Even the bat signal eerily winks against the sky. Cat-like screams of joyous retribution waft out of the mysterious mist of voltage. And that's all the regular ones I have. The bulk, uh, regular uh, pulp-style bubblegum cards. Now on to the glossy ones. We're going to look at the glossy, glossy cards. <clears throat> And we put this in, in numerical order, so we'll read them in somewhat kind of chronological order as, as much as possible. And it's a strange, it, it's number F. I don't know why what that is for, but and it's a little bit hard to more more in depth reading here. It's a f illustration or photograph of Danny DeVito, the penguin battling Batman. And it says here on the back of the card with there's a photograph of Tim Burton the director talking with Danny DeVito and it reads director Tim Burton found working with Danny DeVito an enjoyable professional experience actor DeVito is a successful movie director himself with hits like throw mama from the train and the war of the roses to his credit that there now in the numerical order, we have number six. There's a very sensual photograph of S Selena Kyle, a.k.a. Catwoman, on top of Batman. I think she's about to lick him, lick his face. And we flip it over, and it reads uh, for number six. And there's a photograph of Selena, uh, the character who plays um, Michelle Pfeiffer, of course, plays Selena Kyle in this version, and she's posing in front of a direct or cameraman with uh, her whip. And it reads here: Batman Returns. Michelle Pfeiffer lends both her lustrous talent and her extraordinary beauty to the role of Selena Kyle, A.K.A. Catwoman. Since the character literally whips her adversaries into submission, Pfeiffer was taught the proper use of this elegant yet dangerous weapon. There you have that one there. 
Next one, we have number 10. There's a scene Batman in front of his bat boat. That was a crucial scene in Batman Returns, the movie. Batman Ski Boat, I believe. Flip it over, it's number 10. Batman Returns. There's a photograph of Michael Keaton. Actor Michael Keaton, Bruce Wayne, Batman in Batman Returns, previously worked with Danny DeVito, The Penguin, and Johnny Dangerously, 1984. A broad homage to 1930s gangster movies. So there's association with him there. Number 12. Another photograph of the battle, famous scene with confrontation with Catwoman and Batman. And it's number number 12, Batman Returns. Once, once a submissive secretary, now a predatory creature of the night. I don't know about you, Miss Kitty, Catwoman tells her loyal pet. But I feel so much yummier. <laughs> so seductive in her words here. Here's Michelle Pfeiffer as Catwoman. Add that to our collection there. And then we have number 19. There's a battle between the Penguin and Batman. Flip that over. We have number 19 and this description here. There's actually also Tim Burton be directing the scene between Tim Burton, uh, between uh, De Dan DeVito as the Penguin and Michael Keaton as Batman in the uh, Arctic world scene. And it reads, Batman, Michael Keaton confronts bloated, freakish adversary, the Penguin, Danny DeVito, outside Arctic world, the abandoned and submerged section of a former zoo that has become the Penguin's Domain. Add that to our collection here. Very good. Moving on. We have number 21. And here's a scene from the movie with really, uh, a really cool scene with the Bat Cave. And there's some spare uh, Batman costumes in the closet, you could say, of the Bat Cave. Flip it over number 21. Batman Returns, and there's a photograph of Tim Burton in a very colorful, well, not colorful, but it's sort of like a black and white design dress shirt on top of a white shirt, and he's posing in front of the Batcave uh, spare, spare costumes. Batman is a relevant character, declares director Tim Burton, a self-confessed fantasy fanatic. Of all the comic book superheroes, he was always the most realistic. Add that to our collection here. Then we have number 43. A cool scene with the Batmobile. I believe it's it separates and turns into like a bat missile. Uh, or like a, a missile car. It's just, it separates. And we flip it over. It reads here, number 43. One of the biggest thrills of the original Batman movie was the amazing Batmobile. In Batman Returns, the car transforms into the sleek Bat Missile to avoid being captured by Commissioner Gordon, Pat Hingle, and his officers. Great scene there. Remember that scene where it transforms? Now we have number 47. Appears to be Catwoman whipping Batman with her whip. Flip it over. It's number 47. And it's a scene with a photograph of Tim Burton interviewing Michelle Pfeiffer. Directing Selena Kyle, Michelle Pfeiffer, was a delight for Tim Burton. The characters, transfor the characters tra um, 
transformation from insecure secretary to predatory criminal was sudden and extreme. Yet Selena maintains her quirky sense of humor throughout. Awesome person to work with. She really sold the show in that movie, I must say. Even, even more than Dan DeVito. I found her very delightful to watch in the movie. Now we have card number 48. We have a scene with Dan DeVito the Penguin emerging from the waters. And there's a scene with Tim Burton directing Dana DeVito in the scene. Director Tim Burton prepares Danny DeVito, the penguin, for an upcoming scene. DeVito was always Burton's first choice for the role, and the actor approached it with his customary relish. With his famous monocle reading over the records. Yeah, all right. And we have number 58. Can we have Selena Kyle, aka Catwoman, battling Batman hand to hand combat? Flip it over. And we have a photograph of Christopher Walken here. Get some little stuff off the card there. And it reads here, Batman Returns. Selena Kyle's murderer, Max Schreck, was conceived by Tim Burton as a sort of figurative vampire. Trivia fact, amaze your friends, Max Schreck was the name of the German actor who portrayed the villainous vampire in the 1922 silent film classic Nosferatu. I just thought I'd mention this. It's very timely that we're uh, talking about this. Very, very uh, synchronistic. Uh, this the other day I was watching Cinemassacre, watching uh, the angry, formerly known as the Angry Video Game Nerd. Uh, James Rolfe, and he was talking about uh, recently it was the anniversary of the 1922 silent film classic Nosferatu. I, I remember seeing it, and I remember the story of how uh, the vampire, originally supposed to portray Dracula, was called Nosferatu or Max Schreck. Was direct, it was, the character was played, the actor was played by Ma the actor Max Schreck, but his character was Count Orlock. And they they lost fairly a lost a, a lawsuit with Bram Stoker, the estate of Bram Stoker, because they stole basically the, uh, the story, the novel that he wrote, and but somehow and they were ordered to destroy all copies of the movie for for some reason, it was preserved anyway. But it's a great story, great story, and uh, yeah, he definitely is in the movie. Uh, Christopher Walken is very much he's not a real vampire, but he's very vampiric. He's very um, he's very much a predatory individual who feeds on the suffering of others. Very, very evil corporate boss. <laughs> very evil man in the in the cartoon in the in the movie. But he's a cartoonish vil villain. Then we have number sixty-seven. We have Batman played by Michael Keaton battling one of these circus uh, villains or henchmen of the penguin and you have another scene from with batman and the batmobile near the christmas present that was originally busted open number 67 it reads mechanical effects supervisor chuck gasper modified the batmobile for the new movie to create this impressive vehicle Six full-sized versions were constructed, along with an assortment of sections, complete miniatures, and bat missiles. And there you have it. And then add that to our collection here. We just have one, two, three, four, five more cards to discuss, and that will be the end of our episode. Just going to talk about number 70 now. 
There's a scene with Oswald Cobblepot, also known as the Penguin, sitting in a very luxurious desk and chair. He's writing out a list of names. What could he be doing exactly? Let's find out. And here's Tim Burton directing the actor in the movie. Number 70. Tim Burton directs Danny DeVito, the Penguin, in Batman Returns. The flippered felon's perverse hatred of the innocent gives him an extra horrible or horrifying dimension. And that, and that, I believe in that scene he was writing names of all the children of the socialites who he blames for his downfall. He wants to kill all these, par these rich parents' uh, kids in the movie. So he's quite, quite the villain. Quite the dastardly character in the movie. Number 72. Again, here's another scene with Danny DeVito in the archives. Looking things over, he's writing things down. Flip it over. Number 72, Batman Returns. And there's a storyboard version of Pet the Penguin in the, in the archives. Library. He's making a list and checking it twice. Featured in a production painting of the Penguin researching his past and planning a criminal future. All right, add that to our collection here. And we have number 75. There's a great close up of Michael Keaton as Batman. Flip it over. And there's a scene, there's a photograph of some of his extra suits in his bat cave. Surrounded by chains. Probably chains for the door. <coughs> Number 75. Inside his secret headquarters, Bruce Wayne maintains a number of Batman costumes for Batman Returns. The armored costume was redesigned. I think the differences are subtle, comments associate producer. Ian Bryce. This time, the torso and thighs have a more sculpted geometric design. Interesting how they are. How we redesigned the suit. More geometric rather than realistic, like the first one. 83. There's a scene with Michael Goh, the actor who plays Alfred, the butler, in. Batman Returns, and he's wearing a headset. I believe he's messing up the audio when the Penguin is giving a speech. Flip it over, it's number 83. And it's a scene with uh, Tim Burton at one of the scenes of the movie. Tim Burton is a rarity in the history of American movies. A filmmaker of uncompromising, deeply personal vision his always unusual and sometimes outlandish motion pictures have nevertheless emerged as some of the most commercially successful ever. It's number 83. And we have one last card from our collection. Number 100. And there's a great scene with a photograph of Danny DeVito as the Penguin and Michelle Pfeiffer as Catwoman. Posing together from the scene, from the movie. Excellent. Batman Returns, number 100. And there's another storyboard scene from Gotham City. Some bridges across the building. As in the first Batman movie, Gotham City is depicted as a dark and threatening metropolis. This set back backing captures the appropriate feel of a once magnificent city overwhelmed by the forces of crime and corruption. There you have it folks. That is our collection. My Batman collection, car collection. I certainly had a great time looking at uh, Look at my my car my my going down memory lane. Looking at all these awesome scenes 
from a very memorable movie. A lot of fun, a lot of fun. Very nostalgic. Had a real good time. And I hope you had a good time too. So we're going to take a break from this and we'll probably continue on with another collection of cards. Something not, not Batman related, but something interesting. Nonetheless, I certainly have a great collection of different kinds of cards. So I hope you'll tune in next time, next week, for another segment of my card collection show and tell. Until then, thanks for tuning in. I'm your host, Jeremy. You've been watching and listening to Video Gamers Oasis Playful Podcasts. Now available on YouTube. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, Video Gamers Oasis. Click the notification bell. Also follow my podcast, my main podcast website site, where a lot of these podcasts, the audio is uploaded onto it. Anchor.fm. It's Video Gamers Oasis on um, Anchor.fm. Links in the description. Check out the links in the uh, in the description as well. Make sure to follow me on on Facebook, Video Gamers Oasis, Twitter, Video underscore Tweets, Video Gamers Oasis on Instagram. I also have a new to- a new pod, a new uh, TikTok. You might want to check out that that TikTok channel. Also, you can help support the website as well as my YouTube channel Video by Gamers downloading Oasis the Brave podcast. browser. Help protect Credits. yourself on the internet. Musical Avoid intro. our block all kinds of annoying pop-up game. ads and spy bots and spyware download the brave browser free use. pardon me no copyright download the brave browser new vid 268 it's brave.com forward slash vid 268 youtube channel link in the description download the brave browser DTV. also watch the brave ads Diamond. and you Gaming. can earn digital tokens TV. bats and you can donate Stop your BATs to my channel, screen. YouTube channel, Video Gamers Oasis, YouTube channel, as well as my website, VideoGamersOasis.com. Check out the Brave browser. See for yourself Make how much Brave makes a difference for your browsing experience. Till then, thanks for watching. I will be back in our day with some more content for you to enjoy. Till then, thanks for watching, and bye for now.